Welcome everyone um, to a brand new episode of Recovery Season 2, which we call the new normal, right? So the first season was the outbreak, and the season two, we decided to call it the new normal. Um, I'm excited that you are here, and I'm your host, Alain Kapatashungu. In this episode, I'm really delighted to have uh, with us one of the most innovative leaders in our industry, um, Michael Valdez, president of EXP Global um, at EXP Realty. Uh, so Michael will tell us more about what his role entails. And uh, Michael, as an executive extraordinaire, um, based in New York City, but also in Miami, I'm sure we share some of the insights about what's going on in the market. And uh, I believe that those things will end up uplifting us and educating us as always. Uh, but before we get started, Michael, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Alan, for having me on the show. I love Absolutely. the idea of the new normal because it's really what we're living. <laughs> exactly. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, but before we get started, uh, here's a quick bio on Michael. So Michael, as I said, currently president of EXP Global at EXP Reality. Uh, but Michael was also the former senior VP of global servicing for Reality Co. Uh, during this tenure, Michael did oversee um, the international servicing platform of four Realogy brands, including C21, Century 21, sorry, Conway Banker, Era, to name but a few, but in like something like 100 and something country, which is impressive. Uh, so Michael's also is the host of the Global Luxury Real Estate Mastermind, which I discovered just a week ago, completely fell in love with it. He's going to tell us a little bit more about it. And uh, so his podcast, his, podcast, his podcast is really awesome because it's distributed in, in like 50, 60 countries and uh, have like 10 million impressions, which is what we hope to do hopefully one day. Um, so uh, Michael is also a current member of the Forbes Real Estate Advisory Council. So that was in a nutshell what he's doing, uh, what he was doing. So now we're excited to be able to kind of learn from him. So the first question that I would like to get us started, Michael, is um, can you walk us through like your typical, quote unquote, typical work day during this pandemic since it broke out? Like how... How did you organize your day pretty much? You know, you know what's so wonderful? First of all, thank you again for having me on the show. It's fantastic. I love what you're doing. I love the idea that there's a communication back to people that felt very disconnected during what we all are going through during this pandemic as a society, as a member of the human race on something that affected us on a global scale. So congratulations on what you're doing and you're doing such a great job of really Thank reaching you. out. And I think it's one of the most important things, but going Thank to you. a typical day, typical yeah. days don't <laughs> exist, which is really wonderful. And exactly. so it's been really fantastic. It's the idea that EXP is a fully global company. It is a okay. fully virtual company. So we have wow. no offices anywhere. That's awesome. Okay. We have all bricks and mortar. We okay. Our offices exist in the cloud in what okay. is considered EXP world. All of our agents and employees are avatars. Wow. And <laughs> we actually all communicate during a, a, a regular day in okay. an avatar situation. So somebody wow. will jump into my office and okay. <laughs> have that meeting. And what really is interesting That's is awesome. that, yeah, it's amazing. The technology <laughs> is extraordinary. So the wow. platform is powered by a company called Verbella. Okay. And Verbella is fully owned now by EXP World Holdings. So we bought the company. Got so it. Awesome. The only real estate company that will have this platform. But okay. Verbella wow. is in other sectors, in the finance sector. They're with Price Waterhouse and Deloitte as customers. They do things for the armed forces. They do, um, wow. do a lot of incredible things, as in virtual training and things of that nature. It's extraordinary. But it started wow. as a platform for yeah. learning educationally. Wow, awesome. That is so incredible. my typical day is really looking at our expansion. We okay. have done um, a country a month is what we've averaged, which is amazing. We'll definitely touch on it because yes. I need to hear yes. more about it. Like that's that's impressive. I mean, seriously. So I have impressive. the most amazing team that we've wow. been able to 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 accomplish and structure, and we are really looking at what the focus is of this okay. particular platform, which Done. we 
really feel helps people change their lives. And that's really what our focus is in getting that's that awesome. message across. Wow. That is, that is powerful. Um, what is, what is to you, you believe the, the one element or the one thing could be a product, could be a service, could be just a way of doing work that was overlooked before COVID and now just pretty much became the known, like something that it's undeniable now it's here for stay. It's here to stay. What is that one thing to you? You know, I, I, I think that w without even sort of touching on what would be the obvious response of like technology or something like this, yeah. I think the most obvious one was learning that your client was a human being and Absolutely. people needed wow. to connect. Yeah. We really needed, people felt so isolated during this. Agreed. Responses Agreed. of what your platform has done as a response to that. It was part of the reason that I started my podcast. It was the idea oh. of really being able to remember that people okay. needed to feel as though they Absolutely. were part of a community. Absolutely. Right? And That's they didn't awesome. they couldn't feel alone. And I think that reminded us as we keep looking at this, it's not about your sales volume. It's not about <laughs> how many homes you're selling. It's about who exactly. you're selling. Absolutely. Absolutely. And whose life you're affecting. I agree. Definitely. That's what I'm um, So this is the point that I really wanted to touch on with you because yeah. when I was doing uh, preparing the interview with Michael, I stumbled upon this. I don't know if it's, it, it, let's call it data. I mean, it's just impressive. So can you just speak to us a little bit about how you guys manage to expand? I know that you guys are virtual, but still, like, how do you do it? How do you expand and open 2012 um, um 12 markets pretty much in 12 months like how do you how does one do it <laughs> please get, get into the details as much as you can for Absolutely. audience because that's something that's fascinating fascinating you know it, it was extraordinary and i'm and i'm blessed to have an incredible team around me um Absolutely. we've accomplished something that has never been accomplished in our industry exactly it is, we're not a franchise so sure. we are a one company so that okay. means that we have to create a corporation in every country that we're in, set Got up it. infrastructure of banking, accounting, finance, finding oh. the team. So finding yeah. the, the leader of the country, putting a okay. team around that individual, doing okay. somebody with their, their assistant, their onboarding wow. specialist, Incredible. their specialist. So all of this happens simultaneously as we're doing this so that we have a goal of doing three countries per quarter. So our, wow. uh, we've done 15 countries thus far. Okay. We wow. opened Israel last month, uh, last week. And okay. we are, there are our next three countries is Panama, Germany, and Japan. And awesome. those are our Q3 countries. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot because we also have to consider language. We have exactly. to consider in some Absolutely. cases, the the uh, alphabet, right? So yes. in Hebrew, the alphabet goes backwards, and wow. so it, <laughs> so it's a different tech challenge, right? Absolutely. And so there's a lot of things that are going through, and and you know it's been a spectacular team that just really <laughs> has a singular goal in mind. And the goal is not sort of like doing what's not been done before, because then that yeah. becomes the new normal, right? To Absolutely. Your point. Absolutely. And so then your bar is like, you know, the, the word impossible doesn't exist within my team, right? Agreed. So it, awesome. it, it's just the idea of, well, let's just see what is possible and <laughs> exactly. push ourselves to that point. Because again, it's not about achieving the goal of it's not been done before and that's great. Yeah. And we're the ones that did it. It's not about us. It's about getting that message that we so strongly believe in to as many people as possible. So that's wow. what our goal is. When you start sort of seeing when, you know, Glenn Sanford, who's the founder of, of EXP, and yeah. we've started doing a few events now here and there. But when agents come up to him and I'm with him and they have tears in their eyes and they sort of say, this model changed my life because it allowed wow. me to retire or retire my parents or pay off That's my powerful. kids' education. It's so powerful. A lot of doesn't fit on a PL statement, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. It's why we do that. That's what's amazing That's to me. That is powerful because that's I believe that that actually what being 
in business of all, which is real estate is all about. And, and the thing that I believe sometimes we forget, and because technology gets so exciting, which is a great thing, we forget that real estate is, has been, and will always be a human business first. That's right. So this is something that I believe that we just brush off um, way too casually. But when you hear a testimony like that, like the one you just shared, that that's something that is powerful. And I believe that being able to sell homes and have clients that's what it should be all about, being able to transform people's lives, like for real, real. Because I know that in the startup land, we love to say it. And I don't. I, I, I sometimes feel like we are just really, 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 really far from there. Yeah. But being able to really change someone's outcome and life by giving them those type of opportunities, I think it's powerful. It really, it, it's what it's all about at that point. Absolutely. Right? It is, Absolutely. Technology is just a tool. That's exactly. It it's all exactly. It. It's a tool to agree. accomplish what we were just saying to help somebody in their life. Absolutely. So the, the, to kind of follow up on that, just because I'm curious about this, did you get to go to all the 12 countries or is it nope. something that you've been able to not, to not go there yet? It's all been virtual, but wow. a, a good That's portion incredible. of what we've done has all been during lockdown. Wow. Right? So it's even, it's even better. <laughs> It's all been during lockdown. So this is all literally been wow. remote. I, the, first, the first country that we visited was a couple of months ago when we went okay. to Mexico. And that was only because one of our top agents was doing a mastermind and several of us were speaking at the mastermind to support him. And then we decided to do a smaller opening for EXP Mexico, which was one of the countries wow. we opened last year. That and we did a very COVID restricted sort of gathering of 200 yeah. people. But that yeah. was the first country we visited out of the 15 wow. that we've opened. That's incredible. That and, and, and it's actually awesome. And, and you have to think also about, it, this is just a testimony and testament to you guys because being able to find people like in those countries from Israel yes. to Mexico, like without even going on the ground, it just says a lot about how you guys work and, and the culture that you have in, internally, because that is something really, really difficult to pull off, to be okay. able to it's build those true. kind of teams without even being in the country. It is That's, so true. You it's know, incredible. Sometimes you don't even meet them face to face. Sometimes you just meet them <laughs> in an avatar form. That's incredible. You know, that is, that is that is unreal, really. Like that's something that I really wanted to be able to chat with you about because I, it really fascinated me. Because when you build, you always have this mentor where you know, especially when you grow and you expand, yeah. you have to you know be able to go. You 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 obviously can do it, but I really like your uh, the approach that you guys had with um, IDXP. That was something yeah. that's really fascinating to me. And then you put a lot of trust in those people because you want to agree. Right, you Agreed. want to them to go and build what their vision is too. So, what's really Agreed. interesting is that we want to remain very agile. So, we have yeah. our just our core um, okay. value and business plan. What we do, so we do very generous commission splits with the agents. The agent is the brand, so That's we're awesome. the business platform, right? And That's so, awesome. we do very, very uh, great commission splits. We actually do uh, participation for them for to receive stock. Of, okay. Uh, oh, wow. Totally traded NASDAQ company. So, based okay. on their performance, they receive stock and then they build a revenue share for simply sharing the EXP story with That's anyone awesome. that they share that with. So, you know, whatever any of your listeners are working with, with any other company, not to even mention any other company, you know, usually yeah. what you get when you sort of say, I love working for this company, you should work here, you get nothing, right? You just Agreed. Get rent that works in your company. That is here, true. That is true. You actually start earning anything that they pay into EXP. So they're capped. That's huge for seven levels, not only everyone that you tell, but everyone that they tell and what they oh. tell down to seven levels. It's become an incredible revenue share model that is, that is significant huge. for that many, is huge. many agents. It's amazing. So that model remains the same. That That is huge. And, and it definitely, now I understand because I've been obviously following XP um, for a while now, but I was always curious about the model, like how the culture yes. was working and knowing that you were there, I was excited about this conversation because I think this that's ultimately why you guys are successful, right? It's all about the people and it sounds exactly. cliche, but we say it, but we don't actually live it out. And, and, and I love we, to be able to hear that. 
we onboard roughly 5,000 agents a month. We're the fastest growing real estate company in, in, in America. What? It's, it's insane. insane. It's insane. 5,000 oh a month. Oh, my God. Right? And That's so incredible. no one, it's like we, we are now um, just shy of 58,000 agents. And oh. when I joined just a little over a year ago, we were okay. at 28,000 agents. So <laughs> it was. That's growth. <laughs> it's extraordinary what our growth That's incredible. Is. Yes. Wow. That is yeah. fascinating. It's, it's just a testament to you guys. So that's, that's really powerful. I love it. Um, I, I, I don't know if you, obviously, I'm sure you, you, you're aware of this, but whether it's here in Paris or in the US, we've been experiencing lately some, you know, record low housing inventory. Right. And I've been hearing from agents, especially from our customers, how, hard, how it's hard for them to be able to get listing properties. And since you guys are definitely at the forefront of what's happening as potential innovation and just thinking outside the box, I was curious about what, what are some of the ideas or measures that you can obviously share sure. uh, that you guys are, you know, implementing at EXP to continue to empower your agents because this is this this has been pretty much a, a rough stretch. So I was curious about some of the ideas that you well, guys I think, have. I think one of the things that really um, I can share with all of your listeners and audience is that remember the basics. Remember, I've been, I've been in real estate for 17 years. Prior to that, yeah. I was in banking for 10 years. It's like, remember the basics. Remember That's that awesome. your clients are what you need to do. This is a relationship business. Absolutely. The idea that this is a seller's market for many yeah. people that are new to the industry, it's almost a disservice. It's wow. almost the idea that they don't need to work that hard because they're getting wow. multiple offers on yes. a property. You have to remember the art of real estate. Markets are cyclical. When this becomes the buyer's market, and it inevitably will around the it world, will. Absolutely. when this becomes a buyer's market, you're not going to have the skill set. You wow. have to remember that this is a buy, this is this is a people business. You yes. have to build relationships. Wow. That is the core of anything that's, that that's is good. when you get the listings now because Agreed. you're building a relationship and Agreed. that's when you actually are able to educate your your clientele as to the changing environment of the market stay ahead okay. of the market educate wow. yourself understand what is happening around the globe understand Absolutely. where interest rates are understand what happens with the for parents that the, that happened during COVID for mortgages that now the banks are saying we want our 14 months of payment back, <laughs> right? Yeah. Where, <laughs> what happens with FHA loans that are now decided that they're going to extend the loan based on the forbearance? Wow. Understand yeah. what that means to the market, not just in the United States, but on a global scale. Because okay. you start thinking about when we have a the world is very small, right? Someone in Paris <laughs> has a home in New York has a home, in life, has a home, in life, right? And so it's the idea that everything is interrelated. Yeah, and absolutely. the markets really, look what happened with COVID. It affected the entire world. Absolutely. Agreed. In different, Agreed. In different stages. So by the time COVID hit Europe last year, Asia yeah. was recovering. Wow. That's true. So That's actually true. Yeah. So yes. we start looking at what are the effects of what happens in Paris. If you're sitting in New York and you think, oh, it doesn't affect me, then you, yeah. you, you, you are mistaken. It does. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the idea that remember it's a people business. And when those that it. are really successful now, I submit to you that it's really no different right now than walking into Starbucks and somebody taking your order. You are an Absolutely. Order Absolutely. Don't want Completely to be agree. Taker. You do not <laughs> want to be an order taker because completely. when this shifts, you will not have the skill set. Agreed. I completely agree. And this is a this is a feedback that I've been hearing from uh, many other agents about as you as you said, remember the basics. I love it. Like the That's relationship it. the relationship part in times like this, it is so key. And um Again, those are the things that you think that you master, but it's just like anything in life, right? So you have to always go back to it and better and, and, and make, make, it, make it more perfect, make it more um, useful as, as you go, and especially in times like this, greatest, being able to go mistake, and learn. Yeah. The greatest mistake, especially the younger agents in this business now, I really 
they say it's a disservice that they're in the market now because wow. they think this is what it's going to be. They don't remember yes. the crisis of 2008 because many exactly. of them were like, still were in arrest. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. And so they don't remember <laughs> that crisis. They don't remember what the recovery was. They don't remember the cycles. I yeah. would say that people in your own market, so in, in Paris, understand what the cycles were over Absolutely. 20, 30 year history because cycles Absolutely. repeat themselves. Exactly. Prices are different. Agreed. Agreed. Cycles, that's why it's a cycle. Cycles Agreed. repeat themselves. <laughs> so, you know, Agreed. it's one of these things where there is this, is, this, this market will change. It will yes. become a buyer's market. And there's Absolutely. going to be factors that are going to be around that. So, if you don't have the skill set, you'll be caught out. That's uh, you. You kind of pretty much responded to it. That was the next question where I was going to ask you what some advice that you could give to new agents, as you mentioned, who are beginning, you know, to get into the business pretty much now. So you, I think you pretty much answered it that you have to go yeah, back it, to I the mean, business. I think, I think it is learn the business. Yeah, it is absolutely. learn the business because this is absolutely. not the business. This is not the <laughs> yeah. business. This is an Agreed. anomaly. Exactly. It's an anomaly where you got to the top of the market and people are making significant amounts of money because, you know, it, it, and, and remember to be humble. Remember to be humble because somebody who's in a position right now where, yeah. you know, they've got five or six offers. In some yeah. cases, they're not even responding to the six people. Wow. Those six wow. people just sort of said, I want is... to buy the listing you have. Oh, my God. Be a human yeah. being. Respond. That, that is... Be humble. Absolutely. That is lack of humility displayed right there, <laughs> for yes. sure. I have so many offers that I don't even need to respond to half of them. That is correct. And that is, right. that is yeah, be humble. Otherwise, life Remember is going to Remember that care. you are building your reputation in Absolutely. this industry. And Absolutely. so those that are coming in, that are, so, that are coming in now at the top of the market, where they're making a lot of money, yeah. how you conduct yourself now, is okay. how your business will succeed when this market shifts. Absolutely, absolutely. No, that, that was that was a great advice there. Um, so this is a more personal question directed to you right. here. Like, what are some of the lessons that you personally, you know, learned throughout this? You know, I don't even know. We can call it stress for period that we've been going through COVID. Like, so what what are some of the things that you've learned about yourself? Whether it's as a leader that you are or as a man, like what are some of the things that you've worked on or realized that you need to, you need to work on pretty much? You know, I think, I think it's really the idea. And, and I joined EXP during the pandemic. We've been building yeah. throughout, you know, the last uh, 13, 14 months at this point. Wow. Yeah. And so this like my, my journey during this, and it was the idea that because this platform was so um, remote in nature, they always sort of said um, EXP was built for this. You know, it's the idea that there was a communication that one was able to do. What was yes. really, for me, interesting was understanding throughout the, the, the globe where we were entering what was okay. important in those markets. So in, in my old, um, um, in, in my old uh, company, you know, we, we were sort of like dealing with a lot of franchises and there was always like that sense of removal. It was a little bit once removed because you sold a franchise to an individual and then they sort of built the, the, the company out. We're doing it yeah. from scratch. And so what was important was, you know, as we created this model, for example, one of the first countries that we opened was South Africa. And oh, so wow. In South Africa, when we built the model, we had our leader there and he actually said, while we build this model, could we not keep a percentage of the fees in South Africa for social responsibility? That's awesome. Uh, that it is was awesome. a beautiful, beautiful model. That is and awesome. so we keep a half a percent of everything that we make in fees in South Africa. We keep it okay. in, in a fund that's completely transparent and wow. then the agents select where that money goes to wow. for what charity it goes to. That is powerful. So the idea of giving back as community was very yeah. important. In India, our, which are one of our fastest growing countries, we've grown okay. 700 agents in six months in India. 
And it's insane. It, it's insane. Those numbers are insane. And, <laughs> and so our leader in India is an incredible human being. He said to me, um, Michael, obviously the COVID situation in India is, yes. is rapid. Um, you know, can we do something? And so what we did very humbly was say we would pay for any vac, anybody who wanted to have a vaccine wow. um, in our community of EXP India agents. And so cool, no? we actually pay for anyone who raises their hand and says, I want a vaccine, because in some cases they can't afford it. And Absolutely. so we'll pay for anything there. So it's about the health of a community. So that's, that's what I thought was beautiful, is that sense of community that yeah. really is exemplified and amplified under this model. That is awesome. I really, really love those initiatives because, again, it goes back to the point that you shared earlier, always about the people, but you were talking about the agents, but I love it because it kind of trickled down even to your customer. It's always about right. them. So it, right. it created this circle that is really virtuous, and, and that is awesome to hear. That is really, really awesome. Um, you know, one of the one of, one one thing that I just wanted to say one sure. when we were actually um, we were recruiting a very large team in India, two hundred members. Yes. Oh, wow. and I spoke to the team leader, and he came okay. from another competitor. No need to mention them. And so <laughs> he, uh, he said, um, he said to me, Michael, do you know why I'm joining? And I said, please tell me. Yes. And he says, because EXP's model is a model that was made for humanity. Wow. And it floored me. It floored That's me because it, awesome to hear. it, it encapsulated Absolutely. exactly who we are. Absolutely. That's exactly what I've what I what I pretty much feel when you share that. Like he, 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 some companies you obviously we're not gonna name anyone, but some some yeah. companies succeed and you kinda like, ah, okay. I guess right. it makes sense, you know, <laughs> and other companies succeed. Like you can see it, like it really stares at you. And it's the case for EXP, like everything you're sharing there just makes sense that you guys are actually in the position where you are today, because it's always, again, about the basics, which is the people. I know we love to say it, but again, not a lot actually living by that mantra anymore. So that's, right. that's really, really great to hear. Um, so this is a, this is actually a question that I can say it's for me. Like, how did you get interested in to, Pod podcasting how did the, the the mastermind podcast pretty much um was created like how, how did you get into it you know i love mentoring younger agents coming into the profession and sharing some ideas and i was awesome. mentoring quite a lot of people and i would always be okay. available when somebody was calling and you know and then it sort of like you started getting much busier <laughs> yeah. with things yeah. and it was uh you know and it was sort of ineffective to just sort of go and and and, and help you know okay. two or three people and yeah. so the idea of the podcast literally came about so that i would be able to share stories that would That's help awesome. individuals and that was really the impetus of doing wow. the podcast and i started the podcast in january of 2019 and so okay. oh, wow. um so it's been around for about a year and a half now Yes, yes. Uh, so it is. Uh, it's a weekly podcast that, okay. uh, that is done, and we do. You know, I've been in this industry 17 years, so I, yes. I, I can get a lot of people on the phone. <laughs> and, um, and so it's been that idea of sharing those wow. those different thoughts from different thought leaders from yes. different parts of our industry. So I'll speak to successful agents. You know, Ryan Serhant was was a, yes. was a guest of mine a couple of weeks ago. Great, wow. great guy. Um, you know, really, really humble and built an incredible business Absolutely. and brand, a global brand Absolutely. for him. Absolutely, yes. And great. it's been extraordinary, you know. And, and then we have some key developers. I had the developer of the Woolworth building in New York. That wow. was an extraordinary story that he had. Wow. Um, you know, and then we had some amazing leaders, you know, Glenn Sanford, who's the founder of EXP, um, yes. and a lot of other leaders. It's brand agnostic, so it's not a, an EXP podcast. It's about Absolutely. everyone and anyone in our industry. And we start having conversations that, and you know what's really great a lot is when you start getting the, the, the emails from yes. the listeners that yes. say, you know, this episode helped me because of X and Y. And that's why I do the podcast because it's awesome. a lot of planning for that too. It's a whole lot of <laughs> Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And, you know, I have a very talented <laughs> team that does the, the the podcast promotion and 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 the um, and the post production, and they I couldn't do it without them. They're fantastic. So it's all about doing. In, you can't do anything yourself. You have Absolutely. to always do it in community. Absolutely. I I for myself discovered the podcast like a week ago, and I've been consuming well, that. Uh, so I'm going to put the link definitely when we uh, premiere this video because I think it's awesome. It's been really, really uh, interesting to be able to hear some of those stories. So I highly, you know, highly I've recommend got, you guys. Added, to... I've added a YouTube channel now a couple of months ago so That's that awesome. everyone can actually sort of see the, the video portion too because most of it is, awesome. uh, it's all been audio, but now yeah, it's audio. You know, the video. And awesome. so um, so if your listeners want to subscribe, that'd be wonderful because there'll be a Absolutely. lot of there. Absolutely. I'm definitely going to share that uh, when we premiere the video for sure. Um, so to kind of finish us off, uh, Michael, what are, some of the, what are some of the projects that you are currently uh, leading or working on right now? So as I mentioned, we've got the next three countries in tow. So we've got yes. Panama, which will be opening in July. Uh, awesome. We have Germany in, in August. Oh, wow. And we okay. have um, Japan in okay. september so those are really great and then wow. we will be announcing our q4 countries probably around our august time um okay. and so it is um it's exciting what we're doing is super super exciting uh awesome. we're doing some wonderful um community things as well exp has committed to building a hundred homes in mexico this wow. year for underprivileged that's families. huge that's and huge it's, it's, we're doing it with a charity called new story it is, um, yeah, so it's, it, it, those things really excite me as well because Absolutely. it's really what we're doing for yeah. the global community. And that, that's, that's what excites me right now. You know, now it's sort of like, listen, at this point in my career, it's not about the money. It's not about, you know, yeah. the little sort of like things you do. It's about how many lives you affect. That's powerful. Completely agree. I love it. Um, thank you, Michael. Uh, well, let's wrap you. this re recovery of, uh, the district recovery with Michael Valdez, um, EXP Zone. You can catch this episode as always on YouTube and on all platforms streaming podcasts. And remember, in the recovery, don't just get back to the same place, but strive to get to a better place. Thank you, Michael. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I really appreciate your time today. Uh, thank you for making this and thank you for what you're doing. And um, yeah, looking thank forward to be able to travel. Yes, <laughs> I appreciate indeed. that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much for the time. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to obviously let Danielle know when the episode is going to premiere. Awesome. Uh, and then I'm going to put, uh, as I said, the link uh, in you. the description and everything. And uh, hopefully when we get back to traveling again, if I'm in New York, I would love to be able to sit down for coffee and be able to meet with you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a beautiful day. My pleasure. Have a beautiful day too, Michael. Thank you Bye -bye very much. Now.